Hi guys and welcome to Grady Gem Part 1 July Submission PSA Grading. Um, so we have tons of you here. Um, I've put a lot of the smaller submissions in to get as many people in the first video as possible and then the bigger submissions will be in Part 2 and potentially Part 3. We'll just see how many cards we've got. Um, got about 500 cards here but anyway, um, how about we have a look at the first stack. So we're actually going to start off with a submit who's sent with Graded Gem for a few years now, and that is Brad. Uh, so Brad starts off with this Mashamp first edition, uh, Shadowless as well, which is quite a big difference. Your Dark Blastoise Unlimited, your Dark Hypno as well, but then your Dark Weezen has got that first edition stamp with the Amphros from Neo Genesis, Slowking from Neo Genesis, such a hard card to get a mint nine grade on even, Expedition Charizard non holiful then a really cool uh, double. Ch uh, hit of gold star so you got your reggie rock and metagross your reshiram gold card very nice indeed charizard reverse so we did get you a psa 10 one of these uh, in the past you're sending in two of those then got your pre-release charizard from team up really cool card uh, probably going to see plenty of them again this submission. CP6 Charizard and then Pokeon Collection uh, Charizard, very popular Zard. Um, you're the brand new Articuno Moltres and Zapdos GX Hyper Rare. And then of course it wouldn't be a PSA submission without Red's Pikachu. So thank you very much Brad as usual and on to our next submitter. So our next submitter is Ian and we're going to start off with a Professor Oak from Base Set. Uh, then a Bulbasaur as well from Bait Set doing some sort of Leech Seed. Zubat first edition and then a Pikachu base set too. Pikachu, uh, really cool promo actually. It's a McDonald's promo and it's him just jumping through the air with a forest in the background. Detective Pikachu, Pikachu of course. This uh, one reminds me of Ryan Reynolds the most, I would say, from all of the SM190. Just can't get that coffee scene out of my head. Uh, Reshiram and Charizard GX from Unbroken Bonds. Plenty of them in this submission. Then we've got a really cool WWE sign card from Mickey James. Uh, Leonardo Fournette who's a right back for the in the NFL, I'm going to guess it's the Jaguars. Um, but yeah, it's like a magnetic thing, so we'll see if that gets graded or not. I will try our best. And then we've got more Pokemon collection, uh, so the Charmander, Charmeleon, and the Charizard. Thank you very much to Ian. We now move on to the one card from Sean. His Instagram should be popping up right about now. Uh, and that is the Houndoom from E5. So it's the first edition. Uh, I have pre-graded this a 9 slash 10. So we'll see how it goes. But thank you very much, Sean. And let's hope it does get that gem grade. Our next submitter is a new graded gem submitter, and it is Connor. No, it is not myself. It is a different Connor. However, it was very strange saying, hi, Connor. Thanks, Connor, on the end of an email. It's even spelt the same way, uh, but welcome to the service, Connor. Anyway, we're going to start off with your Blaine's Growlithe, first edition from Gym Challenge. Your Blaine's Arcanine Unlimited. Your Flareon Gold Star. I know you've got high hopes for this. Hopefully, it's a um, near mint grade. Really nice card. Your Charmander from the McDonald's set and the Fire Energy, of course, as well. Your Charizard Neo Promo Reverse Fall and your Kangaskhan from Jungle Japanese. And then look again. I haven't even meant to do this. Again, the Pokemon Collection. There must have been a deal on eBay or something. But anyway, Connor, welcome to the service and best of luck with your grades. Nathan is our next submitter and look at the fire we start off with here. These cards have been with me for a while actually. Uh, they were submitted almost last month. Uh, but anyway, Shadowless Charizard, really nice to see. Your Shining Mew from Coro Comic Comics. The Charizard EX, I know this is a personal favourite of Tom's. And then look at that, the uh, Shattered Glass. Absolute stunning card this one with the Zapdos, the Articuno and the Moltres. A really nice card that uh, mosaic of course uh, but yeah really nice card surprised we haven't seen more of these come through the service actually but yeah that is nathan's submission our first bulkier pack of cards comes from fritz a uh, really good instagram so please do go and follow that should be appearing in the bottom left so we're going to start off with your dark charizard unlimited your mashamp first edition your dark hypno unlimited uh, then the brown stamp aerodactyl first edition your gengar from legendary collection Heracross, first edition Neo, so difficult to get a top grade on. Your Kabutops Crystal from Scourge. Flareon EX, a really cool card this, EX Delta Species. AX Sandstorm as well with the Typhlosion. Unseen Forces there with the Feraligator, the angry, angry Feraligator. And then one of my favourite cards, um, obviously I've nearly completed this full Delta Species set from EX Holland Phantoms, one of my favourite cards from that mini set, I guess, subset. So Lazzle. GX, uh, and then we move on to some uh, D 
different language cards. I can't remember if that's Portuguese or whatever, but I did write right down on the pre-grades. Um, of course, these are German, the Simsala, the Turtok, the Glorak first edition, uh, the PP. I, I think I've completely slaughtered uh, the pronunciation of that. The Gyarados, Nokchan, Nokchan again, Mewtwo, just spelt a bit differently there. Nido King first edition, Volnona as well, Quapo, and we've got the Raichu, of course, first edition German, uh, Bissaflor, and then the Zapdos with the Doner Kebab. Uh, Nido King from now this is the Japanese base set as is the Alakazam and the Mashamp. And of course, we continue in that vein with the Hitmonchan, uh, the Rockets Moltres from Jim, Misty's Tears. See these more and more often at the moment coming through the service, very popular card for you know whatever reason. Ancient Mew, I think we've got a few of those. And then we end Fritz's submission with the standard Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres GX. So thank you very much Fritz and again, please go and check out that Instagram. Our next submitter is Zach. Zach I sent a few times uh, through the service. Last time I think it was a Salgalio from Ultra Prism, the gold one, I think I got a PSA 10. First time we're gonna put his Instagram down uh, in the bottom left though. Uh, Charizard base set two. Empoleon staff, really nice. Um, these cards are really hard to acquire. They are very favoured by collectors with the staff stamp there. And then, of course, the Ancient Origin staff. Again, though, because of how these promos were distributed, very difficult to get the high grades on. But anyway, best of luck there, Zach. Jordan is next, another new submitter. Uh, and we are going to start off with the Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions. Really nice card there. Uh, so we've got the two here from Jordan, and then of course the Mega Charizard EX that we all know and love with the 101 uh, Secret Rare, really cool cards. Uh, and anyway, we hope you do get those two gems. Best of luck. Another new submitter to the service, this one quite a bulky 50 card submission uh, from James. Please do go and get, follow that Instagram. I know because i followed this Instagram for a long time how much he adores Jolteons. And we do have a no symbol Jolteon. Dark Jolteon Team Rocket Unlimited. I'd imagine these are ones with the PSA 10s that he needs. Um, the Holofor one of these is ridiculously expensive, I saw on eBay. So best of luck with that. Uh, Light Jolteon Unlimited, really cool there. I love that with the Togepi. You've even got the Rattata in the background. That's probably the cutest picture of Rattata you'll ever find. Uh, Jolteon from Pop Series 3. Jolteon Gold Star, can't miss that. Really cool reverse foil there. Um, and then we've got the Holofoil as well. I think we've got, yeah, three of those. So really trying to nail down that 10 grade on that and the reverse foil as well. Uh, you've got your Jolteon EX. I'm saying Jolteon a lot, aren't I? Jolteon GX, so this is from the Tug Team Teens. And then of course, look at that. Old blue back uh, Jolteon. So hopefully we get a good grade on that as well. Uh, the Lieutenant Surge's Jolteon. First edition Jolteon. I did, you know, when you see this many cards together, because obviously I collect Groudons of the same uh, species of Pokemon, of the, of the same Pokemon, I guess. Um, it's really cool to see how the different artists illustrate the same Pokemon. Um, of course, that would depend on the set art as well. Uh, there's the Japanese equivalent of the card we saw earlier, and three of these as well. Actually, when I say three, what I meant to say is four. Um, I didn't mean five though. Then we got the Gym Jolteon. Uh, and then I think that's it. I think that might be it for Jolteons. So I'm hoping for as many of them gems as possible for James for his Jolteon collection. Uh, Vaporeon EX from EX Delta Species. Well, Championship Staff. You got your Polyrath from the Japanese base set. Lieutenant Surge's Gym. Brock's Nine Tails. Misty's Gold Duck. Misty's Gyarados. Rocket's Moltres. Erica's Dragonair, and then Rocket's Trap as well. Very cool. Um, and then to end it, we have a lot of Mewtwo's. So we got, I love this card in PSA 10. I remember when I sent off about three of them and then they all got PSA 10. They, the other two went so quickly and I've not been able to find another gem mint example of this since. Um, reverse four. Then we got the Evolutions Mewtwo EX. Mewtwo EX from Breakthrough, the Secret Rare. Um, I actually spoke to Tom about this. I love this card. One of my favourite cards about, uh, as, as well as this one. Mewtwo GX from Ultra Shiny. And then the SM3 Plus, of course. We've got the Standard, the Full Art and the Hyper. And then the last few Mewtwo's, SM10, the brand new Mewtwo and Mew. And then last but not least, this really cool guest movie promo with Mewtwo.
So again, guys, I really hope that we get top grades on them. And thank you very much, James, for your first, first submission with Grady Jim. So Carl is up next, and Carl has sent away 14 cards, I believe. Um, we're going to start off with the Skamori First Edition Neo Genesis, and then, wow, hello there. The Charizard from Expedition Holofoil. Hopefully you get a good grade on that. Uh, Shining Magikarp is the Unlimited Neo Rev. Then, of course, you've got your Shining Noctowl. Neo Destiny, Blastoise EX, Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, if this card does get a gem, I would be very interested in purchasing it from you. Your Gengar Level X. Venusaur from E1, as is the Blastoise as well. Um, Umbreon from E4. Zapdos Web Promo. Your Rayquaza from Black and White 5. Really nice set, that. Um, the Charizard as well. I mean, love this card. It's definitely one I would do want in a Gem Mint 10 myself, in Japanese and English. Ho Ho EX from the EX Unseen Forces, as is the Lugia EX. Be really nice to get both of these back in gems. Uh, but thank you very much to Carl. Another new submitter from Germany this time, and that is Jennifer. Uh, so Jennifer is starting off with a Turtok first edition, of course, German. Uh, Chaneri first edition. Glorak first edition. Peepi. <laughs> I can't say that one. Mewtwo. Uh, Volnona the Fire. Uh, Raichu. Zapdos. Aerodactyl first edition. So this is just Fossil English now. Uh, as is the Articuno and the Ditto. Gengar as well, I love that card, one of my favourite from the fossil set. Kabutops, Moltres Flying Kai, and then there he is, the Beast Dark Charizard from Team Rocket. And the next card after that is the Dark Gyarados. And last but not least is the Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny. Uh, so best of luck, Jennifer. And please do go and give that Instagram a follow if you could. Moving on to Alex now. Alex sent a good number of cards. I believe these are all pack fresh first edition non holofoils uh, Dark Gyarados, Team Rocket. So these are to complete his ultimate set. Uh, he's got some very cool storage units as well. Definitely go and give his Instagram a follow because it'd be amazing to see when these sets are fully done. Dark Mashoke, Dark Primeep, Charmander Rocket, your Eevee there as well, Enkins, Enkins again, Grimer, the uh, English version, so not the wrong version, Mashop, it's really cool as well to see the first edition, non holofoils not really ones we get to see loads of, and you get to see all the different artworks from the Watsy sets. Slowpoke, very unique there, Zubat, two of those from Team Rocket, Digger there, Dodo doesn't look too impressed, does he? Imposter Oaks Revenge with Gengar. And is that wheezing? Or is that just coughing? Oh. Nightly Garbage Run as well. Team Rocket First Edition. Goop Gas Attack. Two of those. So again, artwork you definitely wouldn't see in the more modern sets. Uh, energy, I can't remember which one. Potion Energy, of course. Sorry about that. Double Potion Energy. And then we move on to more Dark Houndoom Near Destiny. Unlimited, more lol. Oh yeah, we get to see some Detective Pikachu cards as well, which is always good. Then Psyduck, Greninja, one of the rares. Lickitung, looking too happy for his own good. And last but not least, the SM194 Detective Pikachu. Our next submitter is Ollie, and that is the Pikachu W Gold Stamp, first edition. The promo with the stamp, Dragonite. Mewtwo as well, looking glorious as he always does. Pikachu, the WB stamp as well. Really nice. Electabuzz also there. Vulpix, reverse foil. Then you got your Pikachu Shadowless, really nice from base set. And last but not least, your Cynthia Korean, which we cannot grade. And that's right, I remember I put that at the back and said no PSA. But otherwise, these cards will be going off for Yali, uh, and this will be coming back to you very soon as well. So best of luck with you grades. Next up is Josh, uh, Spitmaster on Instagram. He's been sending with us for a long time. He's expecting a PSA 10 on this Charizard. For some reason, I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, but anyway, Skamori, first edition, Neo Genesis. Neo Discovery Espeon and Hitmon Top as well. Magnemite there from Neo Discovery. He's very excited about how these cards go. He's hoping for nines across the board. Um, I think it'll be eight slash nines. A Smeagol, not as high as well. Unfortunately, some scratches. Umbreon, Neo Discovery. Unknown A. And Yorsa Ring Unlimited. 
Wobba Fett first edition rim near Discovery, and then Palkia and Dialga Legend card, which is a really nice card to see in person. And yeah, my well, best of luck to you, Josh. Moving on to another James now, uh, Pokemon Holofoil version on Instagram, just sending in the one card. And again, it's a Mashamp Shadowless first edition, seen quite a few of these already. But anyway, best of luck with your grade here, uh, and hopefully we'll get some information from PSA about that new set you want to submit. I believe we've got another new submitter, ladies and gentlemen, and that is Tom. Uh, not the Tom that here helps us with graded gem, but a different Tom. Uh, and he's going to start off with the Blastoise from base, which is a very good start, to be honest. Charizard from base as well. And then the Venusaur. You can't have one. You have to have the trio. First edition Fossil. Dark Charizard Unlimited. Neo Revelation, Shining Gyarados, and Shining Magic Up. How cool would that be as a set when they come back? Then we've got the Munch promos, surprisingly the first lot we've seen. So the Psydot, the Eevee, the Rowlet. And then we've got these, these promos are coming in more and more. So the Cardass promos, uh, really nice to see all the different Pokemon on there. And then you've got Charizard and Pikachu guest Cardass. Charmander beating up Pikachu there in the battle and then the rocket one as well with Jesse and James doing their normal by uh, hiding in plain sight. George is our next submitter and he's starting off with a Moltres Blackstar promo. Let's just get the Umbreon GX Ultra Shiny. I just wrecked that for a few of you, didn't I? Uh, Moltres Blackstar promo, the Articuno, and then yes, the Zapdos as well. Uh, Agron EX from EX Sandstorm, the very popular SM162, Pikachu Mimikyu, Celebi and Venusaur, Pikachu and Zekron, and then Snorlax and Eevee. Yes, he said that right from the Tag Team GX tins. Charizard GX SM195, very popular card at the moment. Kangaskhan from the Jungle Japanese. Lieutenant Surge is uh, Fero. We've seen that a few times as well. Lieutenant Surge is Raichu. Erika's Clefable. Erika's Vileplume. Misty's Tentacruel. One of my favourite Tentacruel arts, this, actually. Uh, Brock's Rhydon. And one of my favourite Rhydons. Two of those. Misty's Gyarados looking very aggressive there with Rockets, Moltres and the Meganeum. Typhlosion is also on the hit list with Jirachi for the movie promo. Then we go from E1, we got the Dugtrio, the Mashamp, the Verse series, Darkness Energy, and then of course we couldn't have a submission without a bit of Ultra Shiny. Uh, so the best of luck with your submission, and hopefully we get as many gems as you're expecting. Mark is next, and as I understand, you've gone for a really nice holiday, so I hope if you are watching this, you're having a good time over there. Uh, so Blaine's quiz number one, first edition, Mashamp, then Zapdos, and then the Ancient Mew, Charizard, so this is a reverse from the Japanese promo set, really nice, um, and of course the other Charizard GX, and then the Mew 2, and then we move on to the Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos, two of those uh, brand new releases, and then of course more Red's Pikachu. So best of luck, Mark, with this particular submission. Johan is our next submission with a very popular card from uh, Ultra Prism, that is the Lil Full Art. Erica's Hospitality as well, very popular. And then the Mew and Mewtwo GX from the brand new Japanese set. Of course, we have also the other one. <laughs> uh, you couldn't have one without the other. Um, then we've got Yoshida's um, oh, Snubble. Really nice card, this. I think it's taken directly from the movie as well. Um, and I really like the real person effect. I mean, I don't think I'd like it on every card, but I really like it in this instance. Uh, the Eevee and the Deoxys tag teaming and the Umbreon and Dark Rain. Now, that would be an interesting battle. Charizard GX from Ultra Shiny. Uh, Gardevoir as well. Not one I've seen too much of, actually, the Gardevoir. And Sableye and Tyranitar looking very evil indeed. Andrew, otherwise known as Ricky Thunder Pokemon Cards, is our next submitter. Definitely go and give that Instagram a follow. A lot of cool stuff. A load of PSA 9 sets as well. Uh, Magneton, the fossil, really nice. Dark Arbok First Edition from Team Rocket. Dark Mashamp as well. Dark Dragonite, the non holophile version, unfortunately, not the error. How cool though would that have been? Sabrina's Gengar looking very menacing indeed there. Really popular card, this actually. Heracross from Neo Genesis. Houndoom from Neo Revelation, just the unlimited. Rayquaza from EX Delta Species. Again, I'm never going to put Delta Species down. Another unique senders off as well is Team Magma's Houndoom. And last but not least, we have the Japanese Jungle Snorlax. So, uh, yeah, best of luck and please do go and give that Instagram a follow. Matthew is next, another long time sender with the service, uh, and recently he's been sending a lot of Dragon Ball Super. Again, more Mashamps. I don't know what happened to them this month, but obviously there was loads available. Archine, Absorption, Majin Buu. 
Broly, look at that textured effect. He look, that guy looks so angry uh, with the um, fist there. Like, he's, like, could you imagine that coming at you? I mean, there was a lot of likes and erms there, but hopefully you'll forgive me. Ultimate Force, SSB Vegito. Beyond Darkness, Distant Descendants, Son Goku. Two of those this time. These do grade in general really well. Nines and tens, mostly tens. Probably 70, 30 tens, especially if they are di directly from the pack. Son Goku and Oob, Seeds of the Future. And then last but not least, Ultra Instinct, Son Goku. So best of luck, Mafia, and please do go and give that Instagram a follow. Our next submitter just sent in the one card Albert. He has sent with us before, uh, and this time he sent off quite a unique, amazing item, the Shadowless Charizard. So, yeah, best of luck with this. Um, I think the pre-grade was like a 5 max, so let's hope it does get that 5, because it would be very cool to see that encapsulated. So the best of luck to you, Albert. Our next submitter is Alex. Uh, Alex has sent away an Arcanine from Black, uh, Black Star Promo, an Electabuzz, the Stamp, and we do have the Pikachu as well. Dragonite as well. Meowth, a really cool mouth there uh, with the Game Boy Promo. I don't know if you can see that in the Hollow Fall. It's a really nice effect. Computer Era Black Star as well, the Zapdos. Then we move on to some first edition base. So we got the Metapod, the Rattata, uh, the Moltres now from Fossil, really nice. Omate from Fossil, Energy Search and Gambler. Dark Raticate Team Rocket first edition alongside the Eevee, the Magnemite and the Meowth. Then we continue. So we got the Ponyta, the Voltorb and the Rocket Sneak Attack non holofall and the Rainbow Energy non holofall as well. Potion Energy from Rocket. Moving on to this angry looking Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. The Rock Energy, the Fighting Energy, sorry, the Fire Energy, the Water Energy. All from Gym Heroes, all first edition, I believe so. Blaine's Arcanon. This looked quite good actually. Unlimited. Sabrina's Alakazam and and the Koga's Pidgey from Jim uh, Challenge. I don't think that would be much of a battle for sure. But anyway, as usual, thank you very much, Alex. Kevin is our next submitter. So Kevin sent away 11 cards, and we're going to start off with the Pikachu EX with Company. So we've got the Jolteon Electabuzz as well there. Really nice card, that very... Fan favourite. Pikachu, and just from Generations, again, a fan favourite. Pikachu Reverse here from Unbroken Bonds, doing the wink. And then, of course, it would, I think Kevin's a Pikachu collector, don't you think? you got the Poncho, so you got Slowpoke. I like the Slowpoke there. That's probably the, my favourite one. Uh, Luigi Pikachu, full art. you got the Flying Pikachu. you got the McDonald's promo, or the, apart from it's in Japanese, I'll find out the exact promo. Sure, I've researched it already. The Vulpix Pikachu... Then you got the Team Skull, <laughs> the Burning Shadows equivalent Pikachu looking really cool there with the rainbow effect. That would have been some sort of awesome promo. And then Happy Pikachu looking up at that moon, that bright orange moon, as you must know, that famous, famous bright orange moon with all the uh, stars and lights. So thank you very much for your submission. Now, Jason has submitted some very cool and unique cards indeed. Uh, so this card in a high grade can fetch a very high price, and it, it does look pretty good as well. So we'll see how that turns out. Then we've got file number 000, Pocket Monsters. We've got a few of those. Again, they're well graded. Then we've got some more duplicates. We've got the Charizard Gold Star there, Triple Threat. That, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's got to be the thumbnail. And then Espeon GX and Umbreon GX. Really nice to see. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Jason. Scott is next with five cards, so please go and give Chilled Blastoise a follow on Instagram. Heracross First Edition, Team Rocket's Mouth Promo, Onyx First Edition from Neo Genesis, very dark card there. Mimikyu GX with Jesse James and Meowth in the background, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the Mewtwo GX, the Mewtube, as I like to call it. Um, but yeah, really nice submission there, and best of luck with your grades. Our last submitter of part one is Matthias, and we're going to start off with an Evolutions pre-release Charizard. Really nice card. You Charizard from base. Mewtwo GX Hyper, Shining Legends. Reshiram and Charizard GX. How many of these have we seen? Uh, and we're going to see in this submission. Uh, Japanese Charizard from original base set. And then, of course, you've got Blaine's Mist Tears again. Seeing a few of these. And the Shining Mew, of, of course, always. Latias and Latios GX. Really lovely card. Making that love heart. Oh, isn't that cute? Charizard GX Ultra Shiny. Mega Charizard EX from Flashfire. Venusaur base set. 
a Blastoise base set and Charizard base set, that famous trio. Oh, Venusaur again. Um, Charizard team up pre release. Uh, Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends and then the original version too. Missed his tears again. Blastoise from base. And then there it is, the Reshiram and the Charizard GX, the card everyone is chasing right now. Uh, so hopefully we can get you that at 10. The Charizard from Detective Pikachu. The Charizard from Dragon Majesty. The Dragonite GX SM156 with the Shining Ho-Ho. And then this from Ultra Shiny. Not the card I was expecting to see right at the end. But anyway, guys, that ends what is a stellar submission. Uh, we've got easily over a 1,000 cards overall. So there definitely will be a part two. There might be a part three. We'll see how we go um if your cards weren't in this part one they will be in part two or part three um and we'll just see how it goes but thank you everyone here for your submissions and these will be off to psa shortly and you'll get an email about that but anyway guys hope you're happy with the video i hope you're happy with your pre-grades and i hope you're going to be happy with your grades so anyway guys you know what that means that means outro time bye thank you for watching please subscribe please like hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.